you're very welcome to the lab. We're going to show you some video clips or film clips from some different sorts of scenes to try and get different sorts of emotions going. The device we're using to measure your emotional responses are the Empathica devices. They measure different physiological responses, your skin conductance, your heart rate, and how much you move. And what's nice about those is that you have zero control over your skin conductance. So mm -hmm. even if you try and pretend you're not getting excited or, or, or emotionally aroused or anything, your skin conductance is normally a kind of an automatic response. Your heart rate's a slightly different story, so you can calm yourself down with your heart rate and all those sorts of things. Okay. That's why we're using those devices. We'll record that as it goes along and then we will put you through some different emotional experiences via film and take a look at your responses. Your heart rate's controlled by your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic nervous system. So there's the Sympathetic nervous system is pure emotional arousal. It's the fight or flight response. And then the parasympathetic nervous system is calm myself down, rest and digest, keep controlled. Heart rate is both. So it's almost like you're, you could be having a battle with yourself. You're trying to get emotional and calm yourself down. And that's what happens with your heart rate. So the variability is really interesting to us. Skin conductance is purely emotional arousal. So no matter how much you try and calm yourself down, your skin conductance is just gonna respond to what you see. So, of course, experiences like films aren't the only triggers for stress or heightened emotions at any point during the day. So in order to get a little bit of a baseline so that we can compare what higher actually means, let's take an opportunity to relax. So firstly, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment to press your button where we're going to get a timestamp, uh, maybe I'll count to three. One, two, three. Wonderful. All right, so you can relax your arms and your legs in whatever position is most comfortable for you. And if you want to, when you're ready, just take in a nice big deep breath. And then just relaxing your breathing. And really just allow your breathing to relax in its own way. It doesn't require any particular management. Your body knows what it wants to do. You might imagine that uh, any busyness, any bits and pieces that are there in the back of the mind, that it's an opportunity to just release any tension. And as I count now upwards from one up to five, you can just draw your awareness a little bit more back to the here and the now, this present moment. One, becoming more aware of your surroundings. Two, feeling focused and refreshed. Three, feeling pleasantly energized. Four, your eyes feeling as if they've been bathed in cool, fresh spring water. And number five, eyelids wide open and enjoying a nice big smile. <laughs> and if you want to press your timestamp button when you're ready. Now, the horror. <laughs> <laughs> So in the scene you're about to see, there's lots of tension, there's lots of waiting around, and you know something is gonna, it's gonna build to something. There's lots of waiting, and that's just gonna build up the suspense so that when it eventually does happen, it's, it's gonna have a stronger response. But also, in this scene, it doesn't let you off the hook because it happens twice. I know you've been out. What? You've been out of your room. Is this what you're looking for? I know you've been out twice, Paul. I need for God. Shh, darling. Trust me. God, sake. It's for the best. Hey, please! <laughs> <laughs> almost done. Okay, one more. <laughs> God, I love you. That particular scene involves lots of physiological responses. So an injection into your skin is a felt emotion. It's not a conceptual thing. It's not something that you know to be kind of evil or mean. 
at the same time the, the, the visuals of seeing someone clobber someone's foot these are felt emotions all right so you've had a chance to see some film scenes yes that roused, I'm sure, different emotions and brought forward different archetypes and experiences within <laughs> you. Any reactions? Um, oh, I think horror when I saw Misery. Did you? Yeah. I've seen it, it just, so many times. I've seen yeah, it's that kinda, part. That, that one bit moment, yeah, it, it's always going to be gross. Yeah. Really, really gross. Because yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> I was looking over your shoulders, but of course, as a psychologist, I was looking at you guys as well at the same time, <laughs> and that's what I'm interested in, what the reactions were. Isn't it interesting that some people are masochists that, you know, I'm not just talking about Fifty Shades of Grey here. I'm talking about jumping out of airplanes and extreme sports and having a career in broadcasting and media. You, you know what I mean, isn't it? The point is, look, if you want to relax, you know, you can go do something else. Do you know what I mean? We look for these experiences in many ways. So that was uh, just a tiny, tiny, tiny little taste of what's to come. And uh, when we see it all on the big screen and we measure the data even more closely, it'd be very interesting to see what conclusions we arrive at. Right. John, you better bring a defibrillator for me because I'll be on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>